welcome to yourfaculty.com we are going to deal with the th our third video on percentage i hope you got chance to go through our other two videos uh, in our earlier videos uh, we try to understand what percentage is uh, what percentage is and how do you calculate when there is an increase or decrease and if there's a compounded value on multiple increases what do you do i have done that if there is an increase decrease increase decrease decrease how do you calculate it i even uh, solved a problem where the values were given where we try to assume if you remember in the case of sam and ben we try to assume values of 100 and 140 uh, to solve the problem and in the meantime we also arrived at uh, calculating percentage change uh, which is basically the uh, initial value minus final value by initial value so uh, this initial value minus final value just mean that it is the difference you don't have to worry about the minus sign here difference minus iv so uh, this concept is very important from the angle that if someone says rupees a product which was sold at 100 rupees and was increased by 20% what is the new price you will say the answer is 120 now in the same question if they say the price was then decreased by 20% lot of you might have the tendency to write the answer as 100 no that is wrong so what do you do in this case the base is 120 please remember the question is a product is sold at rupees 100 and it was increased by 20% and then the shopkeeper decided to later on decrease the price by 20% so what we see here is actually 100 into 1.2 into 0.8 please note this is what has happened here actually from calculation perspective now since the base is uh, just 100 out here or we can do with the same calculation uh, 12 8 sa it's 96 so it's 0.96 100 into 0.96 the new value is actually rupees 96 after you bring it down by 20% so if you go by step by step, step procedure 100 increase by 20 became 120 120 decrease by 20 how much should you reduce it by 24 2 into 12 that's how you do it right 24 rupees you have to reduce it by which would mean you have to reduce 120 minus 24 which is equal to 96 i hope you are able to appreciate the concept here so please don't jump on to the answer if the question says Uh, a value of a product was increased by 20% and then the shopkeeper uh, because the sales didn't increase reduced it by 20% so the value is not 100 you need to do this calculation or do a manual step by step calculation if you don't uh, if you feel this is complex if you don't have a calculator or anything so you i hope you understand this so then now what you are going to do is we will try to solve certain problems so these are simple problems uh, which come up in lot of these exams but we don't uh, attend it thinking that they are very difficult now let's take for an example this question if y increases by 20% by what percentage should z decrease to keep the product x is equal to yz now i'll write it as x is equal to yz Now, what happens if something is increased by twenty-five percent? We know the straight away. We know that the calculation only one point two five. But for the sake of doing it in a simpler way, what we will do is we can write it as one plus one by four from our early calculation. For your understanding, I'll explain it again. So, what is happening here? It's basically, the value of y has to be increased by. 25 percentage and how did this 4 come 25 by 100 you multiply it by 25 by 100 so we get y by 4 and what do we get finally we get 5 by 
for y. Are you, can you understand what I am trying to do here? So, 5 by 4 y is actually equal to 1, 125, right? 1.25. How do you do that? 5 by 4 into 100 and you get 125 percentage which is basically 1.25. So, this can be represented as 5 by 4 y because y has gone up by 25 percentage. So, which means y plus y by 4, 25 percentage into some value of k into z should maintain as what? x. And how do is how, how are the easiest way to do it? We know that this is multiplied by 5 by 4 and to make that value cancel out, we just need to multiply this portion by 4 by 5. So, what happens? 5 by 4 y into 4 by 5 z is equal to what? y. You can easily cancel these out. So, it still remains at y by z. So, what is the term? At least we know that. We know that the new value of z, the new value of z is, is equal to 4 by 5 of z. Now, what is what does this mean? How do we solve it? Such questions. We need to apply the same concept. Difference by initial value. So, what is the difference in this case? Earlier, it was z and now it is 4 by 5 z. And earlier, it was z. Am I right? So, with this, what do you get? You get 1 by 5 as the value. And 1 by 5, if you have to convert it into a percentage, you just multiply it by 100 and you get the value as 20%. So, z should come down by 20%, which is basically 4 by 5 of its own value to maintain the product as x itself. I hope you understand this. So, I, there is not much complexity. We just did a reciprocal of uh, 5 by 4. We made 4 by 5. And 4 by 5, what we did was we tried to find uh, what is the difference. We need to find out the percentage change, right? Earlier it was z and now it is 4 by 5 z. So, we found out the percentage difference by calculating difference by initial into 100. That is, a, it will give you the percentage value. So, 1 by 5 into 100 gave us the percentage is 20 percent. So, that's the answer for you. You can also quickly find it out if you know 1 by 5 is uh, equal to, if you know how to appreciate this particular number. How do you do it? In our earlier problem also, we tried this. 4 by 5 can be written as 1 minus 1 by 5. And 1 by 5 is basically the value that is bringing down from our earlier understanding of how to calculate and change if a particular value comes down by 20 percent. So, if a particular value has to come down by 20 percent, it is basically 1 minus 1 by 5 is what we do to calculate. So, or, or basically 0 0.8, you arrive at that, right? So, it is the same technique. You can apply as per your convenience. So, this is what you will get ultimately. Moving on, uh, this is a problem we have anyway tried to exp uh, do earlier also uh, for a, in a bank example. So, I will try to quickly do it so that you understand how it is applied in a particular problem. Salary of John is $5,000 in 2010 and if salary increases 10 percentage every year, then what will be his salary in 2015? So, what are the steps? The steps are pretty straightforward. 5000 into and salary increases 10 percentage every year and 2015 is when you want to find out. 2010 we know uh, his salary was $5,000 to 2011, 12, 13, 14, 15. So, we have 5 years and hence the answer is 1.1 to the power of 5. I hope you will not waste much time over here. This is a very simple expression. If you have a calculator, you just need to multiply it and you get the answer. So, we will try to apply the same concepts in uh, profit and loss videos and uh, uh, compound interest, simple interest videos that we will have in your faculty uh, channel in YouTube. We will share all those videos with you 
do watch them and you can also visit www.yourfaculty.com to practice these questions uh, we have a, a lot of analytics to understand where you stand your performance the time taken per each question all that and do like our page in facebook uh, we share a lot of gk related questions uh, verbal strategies exam strategies and also our blogs cover uh, activities every day so do start following us you will i hope you will be able to succeed in your exam so this is our youtube channel your faculty channel and that's our facebook page this is our linkedin page and this is our twitter handle thank you have fun